Welcome back. Or you're going to find that when you are going to do a whiteboard animation that some of the orientation is going to be slightly different. For example, when we place a character onto our canvas, what we're going to choose is we're going to choose whiteboard animation. And then we're going to choose a different set of characters. We may choose a casual character. And then we may place that character inside of our canvas. And you'll notice that character here. What we're then going to do, of course, is we are then going to do a different kind of action. So for example, we are going to then create an effect. We're going to look at the whiteboard effect. And this time, we're going to look at whiteboard animation. And what we're going to do is we're going to either use a real hand, a pen only, writing only, or some kind of illustration. In this case, we're going to choose to do an illustration. What we're going to do now is we're then going to click Save. And we're now going to preview our video using the whiteboard animation. And you'll notice then that we have a drawing. The same thing is going to be true if we choose to use a prop. And for example, if we choose to use a specific prop, and then we would create an enter effect, we would then click the enter effect. What we then do is a whiteboard animation for this effect. We can then choose to use a pen for this one. We can then click save. And what we would then do is we would then click the preview button. And you'll see that they're both done with a pen. Now one thing you'll want to pay attention to will be the timing. So when we place this image on the canvas, what we can do is we're going to go to the enter effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a delay. In this case, we're going to start with a one second delay. And then we're going to make the drawing last about five seconds. And so you'll see now that we have a total of six seconds. And basically what this is going to do is that's going to change the nature of the drawing. We're going to click Save. And what we're going to do then is we're then going to click Preview. And you're then going to notice then that the drawing starts after a one second delay and it's going to take longer in order to draw. Now it's possible for us to add in a prop or some other kind of content. In this case we can add in a prop. We're going to add in a computer again. We're going to place it on the right hand side. And basically what we want to do is we want to have this drawn. But we don't want it to start until after this drawing has completed. And so what we're going to do then is we're then going to then start with our enter effect. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to create a whiteboard animation enter effect. We're going to use the pen. And once we do that, then we're going to be able to set the delay. So in this case, we're going to set the delay at six and one half seconds. And then we're going to then set our duration at five seconds. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to lengthen out our drawing. You'll see the warning there. What we're going to do is we're going to lengthen this out. Then the warning goes away. So we're going to click Save. And what you're going to see now is you're going to see the drawings happen in sequence. We're going to click the Preview button. The first one's going to delay for a second and then it's going to start. And the second drawing is now not going to start until it's completed because we use the delay feature. And so you want to use these considerations when you are doing whiteboard animated videos. You can also use whiteboard animation with both charts and text. And we can do that by first we're going to take out the previous images that we had. And we're going to go to our charts menu. And we're going to put in a chart. And we're going to use this one for example. And so in order to draw this as an animation, we're going to go to our enter effect. And to do that, we're going to go to our pie chart animation. We're then going to go to the whiteboard animation. And we're going to choose to make this a real hand animation. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our time and draw it out. So we're going to change the duration to five seconds. We're going to start the delay at one second. And basically then we're going to save this animation and we're then going to click preview. And you're going to see 
that the drawing will then be done by a real hand. We can do the same thing with text. We can exit out of this image. We're then going to take out this image. We're going to go to our text. We're then going to write in some text. We're going to slide here to the middle and we're going to rewrite this content. And this time we're going to change the text settings. We're going to change the font. We're going to make the font larger. And we're going to bring it on to the canvas. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our enter effect. We're then going to go and find our animation. We're going to go into whiteboard animation. We're then going to use the pen. We're going to make the duration about seven seconds. We're then going to click save. And what we're then going to do is we're then going to preview our text. And you'll see that our pen will write out our text. And so basically when you're doing animation, you want to make sure that you understand that the timing controls how long it will take for the hand or the pen to create your content. And you typically want to give the engine more than a few seconds so that you'll be able to actually see the effect of the animation. Now in some cases you will see that there will be a camera effect that you can add in. And to illustrate this, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a particular scene. And we're going to take out the scene before that one so that we can look at this particular scene. And what you'll notice is that we have a character, we have a prop. And let's say that during some point in the video, what you want to do is you want to zoom in on the prop. And so if you wanted to do that, what you do is you'd click on this camera button. You'd click add camera. What you'll notice is that you have a camera that's now going to encompass the entire screen. What you then do is to click add camera movement. And basically you'll see a second window. And what we're going to do is we're going to resize this window. And we're going to move that window to focus on the area that we want. So what you see now is that you have a zoom in feature based on the bowl and it's going to come from this point in the image and it's going to zoom in here. So again, now one thing you'll want to do here is you're going to want to click on that camera again and you're going to want to be aware of the seconds and the delay here. Now what we can do is we can custom make the movement. So for example, we can custom make it for the entire scene. If that's the case, what we can do then is we can control then when the delay starts and then how long it's going to take. So again, we can use it for the whole scene and basically the camera movement is going to last for the entire scene or however long the scene is going to be on your timeline. If you want to customize the timing, you're going to click custom and then you're going to be able to start a delay and then a duration of your own. You can do it either way and a lot will depend on how long your scene is going to be. So what we're going to do right now is going to click save and then we're going to click preview so that you can understand how the camera works. And so you'll see the zoom effect now on the bowl. And so basically you can zoom in on any effect that you want inside of your canvas. We're going to exit out of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete out this camera. And we're going to start again. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start with another template. We're going to X out of the template that we had. We're going to cut it out. We're going to come back to this template. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to then click our camera. We're going to add the camera. 
and the camera is going to basically be taking a picture of the entire screen. We're going to add in the movement and we're going to assume now that we want to focus in on this particular aspect of our screen. So we're going to size down our camera and then we're going to move it. We're going to take the camera and we're going to move it over to this area so that all it's going to focus on is this one aspect of the scene. We're going to customize the movement. So in this case we're going to start after a delay of one second and we're going to have this occur over two seconds. So it's going to be faster. So we're going to save this now. We're then going to click preview. And so what you're going to see here is that the camera then focuses on one aspect of the scene and it does it according to the timing that we have set. Now once you've added all of your scenes, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do one final preview. So you're going to go to your preview button and you can either preview from different points inside of video or you can preview from the beginning. And in most cases you're going to click preview from start and then you're going to want to watch your video all the way through so that you can verify that it is doing what you want it to do. Once you do that you can then click save. What you're then going to want to do is output the video and you're going to go to this area and you're going to have download choices. Now depending on what level that you have you'll be able to download the video in HD at a certain number of pixels. You can also download an animated GIF. So what we're going to do first is we're going to download the video in HD. Once we do that we can then view our video to make sure it looks the way we want in the MP4 format. We can also download that video as an animated GIF. So in this case we're going to download one. We're going to download the GIF at 640 by 360 pixels. There will be some processing time for beyond. Once you do that then your GIF will be ready to be downloaded. And you'll then be able to view the GIF from your hard drive. Okay so with that thanks and I'll see you either in another video or in another course.